talk about chainsaw mills and while at least one type of chainsaw mill it is the beam machine uh, the beam machine was made by quadra tools in BC Canada uh, they were the original maker of this style chainsaw mill uh, basically this chainsaw mill you get a 2 by 4 and you screw it to the log this clamped onto your bar and you would slide down the log and keep cutting and when you were done you had a straight edge on the side of the log it's a very simple, portable way to make beams. Um, I bought this thing about five years ago uh, from Lee Valley Tools. I kind of looked on their website and I couldn't find the beam machine. So I don't know if they still make them or if Quadra Tools is even still in existence. I haven't researched that. Amazon sells Chinese ones. They're like $20. I paid close to $60 for it. At the time, it was uh, the most affordable chainsaw mill you could purchase because um, the Grambergs were way, way expensive. But you know what? I wanted to try this. I wanted to see how well it worked. This is kind of an unboxing. I got it, never used it. We're going to put it on the chainsaw and uh, see what it looks like. And then in another video, we're going to go out and we're going to see if we can make some boards. Because I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to cut a whole bunch of boards so I can make more raised beds. Uh, we're really going to expand our raised beds uh, behind the house and I need uh, access to cheap lumber, which lumber's not cheap anymore. And I've got a whole bush full of trees. So I want to utilize some of them into lumber. So you know what? I want to see, can you make, can you make lumber with the beam machine? So I'm going to try that out. That'll be another video. I'm going to put this on the chainsaw and we're going to see what it looks like. The beam machine turns logs into lumber. Made in Canada, Quadra Tools. So they put a level on it. So if you keep this level the whole way down your cut, you'll have a straight board. Um, it is just a piece of channel with little cleats that grab a hold of the board when you go to cut. And there's a clamp that clamps to your bar. So it's super, super simple. And it's got nice powder coating though too. At the time, the guy that invented this it, that was a great idea. It was a very simple, affordable way to make beams. If you wanted to do uh, timber framing or what it was, there's nothing more portable than something like this. We're going to put it on the G72 XP. In the pamphlet, they said they didn't need a ripping chain. I am going to leave just my normal chain on it, and we're going to give that a try. So I can go out there, I can cut down the tree, I can actually bolt this to the bar. We can go out and start cutting into boards. I bought a ripping chain and a bar from my Alaskan sawmill, so we'll probably try that with the beam machine, but I want to see how well just a normal chain does. Okay, so we're going to put the chainsaw up like this. I saw a few people online and they were using it like this, and it was effective, but it's meant to be used this way, as far as I can ever tell. And the reason that is, you have the weight of the chainsaw over the uh, two by four. So you're not fighting trying to keep it straight. Uh, it's wanting to sit more flat on the two by four. So basically you have it on your two by four, you cut, and then you slide back and you cut and you slide back. That's why you have the jig under the chainsaw, not out here because uh, the weight of the chainsaw, my chainsaw is pretty heavy and you'd be constantly fighting. So right now it balances, I don't have to hold it and I can just worry about making sure it's straight. Is we are just gonna leave the normal chain and the normal bar and we're gonna go out and cut down some trees, bolt the jig to it and just see how it cuts. Um, I'm not going to put a ripping chain, not going to do anything like that. That's all we're going to do to it and we're going to see how it works. You're not supposed to use a ripping chain to buck a log, so cutting across the grain. Uh, it's not meant for that and it's kind of dangerous. So um, it would be a big bonus if I didn't have to change it in between all that. The next video is actually going to be me out there cutting some wood and cutting some lumber, but... Uh, I just wanted to kind of go over what the beam machine was. I did look and they actually do sell them on eBay and Amazon Canada anyways. I would definitely get you to go out and take a look at them. 
Uh, they're steel, well-made, and they're made in North America. They kind of look like they're hand-assembled, and you know what? There's a little bit of me that really does like it, having something that's just been hand-assembled. Not in a big uh, assembly line. Uh, it gives that personal touch, kind of. So, super happy with it. It only took me five, six years to actually get a chance to use it, but you know what? We're going to get out there today and try it. So, that's about enough for now, and you guys have a good one.